could have like tempted a little bit. What if I like decided to just, oh, I, I have all the control to do this right now. When I'm doing something. in advance for how I look right now. My allergies are making me sneeze a lot and my eyes are watering and I am hot. I'm struggling right now to keep it together because my allergies have made me sneeze like 500 times and I'm trying so hard to not sound congested. We're gonna get through this. Hello you guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I like to film some lifestyle videos and I like to show my audience how I go about my days when it comes to me working from home basically. I'm a full-time content creator and I'm always working from home so I create my own schedule. I'm basically my own boss. I I kind of go about my days as chill and as smoothly as I can and I'm basically the one always in charge and in control of how I work through my weeks so I'm filming a little weekly vlog to show you guys how I go about my days all my weeks are different they're not all the same but working from home like online obviously through social media I tend to have a really busy schedule sometimes like I'm not even joking there's some days where I don't even have enough time to eat because I really want to get a lot of things done which is not the healthiest thing to do please don't do that but so if you have like a similar busy schedule like me basic like a adult tasks could add a lot of stress to your day am i right maybe you're a full-time parent or you work from home you're in school or a student athlete simple things like meal planning or grocery shopping or even cooking could be a hassle that could definitely stress you out since i got a delivery from hungry root on this day i'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret on how hungry root can make it possible to spend less time doing all the grocery stuff and more time doing something that you love they are sponsoring today's video i've worked with them before and i love them but if you're not familiar with hungry root they are a company that delivers fresh high quality Quality groceries and already made meals with your dietary needs of your choice right to your doorstep when i went on their website i took their quiz before i started shopping so that they could personalize my weekly groceries to fit my dietary preferences after i finished the quiz they gave me so many options they had fresh produce high quality meat and seafood healthy snacks smoothies sweets and so much more i noticed that i get super overwhelmed when i notice that i'm running low on groceries and the last thing i want to do is grocery shop and now i gotta stop what i'm doing i gotta make a list plus now i need enough energy to get up and go drive to the store sometimes my social battery is low and now i gotta go socialize to the real world and i feel like we all know how hard it is to shop in grocery stores nowadays because they have all these options of food items that i don't even know which of them fit my dietary needs now i gotta stand there for like an hour to read all the labels and do research on the ingredients it's just a hassle with all of that combined together when it comes to hungry roots delivery and shopping process it has eased my mental load when it comes to groceries by a lot i got my first hungry root delivery a few months ago and when i did my first recipe not only was it easy Easy to make but it matched all the health preferences that i wanted in my meal i had my boyfriend and my friend try one of the already made meal kits and they had no complaints they were real surprised at how good it was because i did not lift a finger to make it it was just a quick warm-up i think we all agree that there's been so many days where we're just too tired to grocery shop or let alone cook so that would cause me to turn to other delivery services to help me find myself some healthy takeout but every single time i tried to look for that i never got that many options and a lot of their healthy suggestions weren't even that good for you but compared to hungry root I had a variety of healthy options to choose from. Hungry Root has definitely added value to my day, saved me so much time on grocery shopping and meal planning on days that I really just want something quick. The last thing I want to do is start prepping a meal when I want to finish doing my work. I work from home, so the feeling of having something already made for you so you don't have to stress on laying everything out to make a meal while you're stressing over getting some work done, barely my problem anymore. I'm going to be so real with you guys. It has helped me stick to a lot of my dietary needs. Since I did the quiz, they personalized my groceries to fit each each need like a lot of the items that they send me are all the things that i want it's gluten-free there's no red meat it's mainly plant-based and they even have like healthier desserts that make me not feel guilty whenever i eat a lot of it they for sure make it easier to eat healthy because they're doing the planning and the shopping for you so you don't got to worry about it yourself so before you start shopping on their website taking their quiz helps them get to know your personal health goals dietary restrictions favorite foods that you're craving and just a lot more all orders are customizable so you can have some of their suggestions or you could just pick out anything you want if everything that i 
I just explained to you guys made you interested in wanting to start shopping with Hungry Root, you guys can use my link below or scan the QR code that will be on the screen. And I wanted to give you guys a little discount, so make sure to use my code MelaniePCruise40 to get 40% off your order. But thank you, Hungry Root, for sponsoring today's video. I honestly do love using you guys. You guys have made my life 10 times more stress-free. And I'm about to try one of the things you guys sent me. This is a 12 gram protein chai fuel shake, almond milk, hemp seeds, maca, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, and prebiotics, 100% plant-based shake. So there's no milk in here, there's no dairy. So this is definitely super convenient and Hunger Root provided it for me. Do a little ASMR opener. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that good. <laughs> Oh my, wait, it kind of, wait, wait a minute. It kind of tastes like a chai version of coquito. If you guys don't know what coquito is, it's basically like this very milky, cinnamony drink that Puerto Ricans like to make for the holidays, like Christmas and all that. This is really good. Now it is time for me to clean out my fridge before I put any of my groceries away. here i'm about to have a meeting with her to go over some brand deals because if you guys didn't already know she's my manager i off today on a late start i'm not gonna lie i'm a little disappointed in myself for a monday but i did go to bed early i took my gummies but when i woke up i was just way too tired i don't know what happened i went on a little overstimulated ocd rage and just randomly decided to clean the fridge when i got my hungry root package this morning and i was in the kitchen for a couple of hours and it's insane how long it took me to finish it i could tell that i was overstimulated we finished it i'm so happy i did it because my fridge looks absolutely incredible right now it looks completely like a different fridge and i feel like i gotta get used to it since i switched around the shelves but i just didn't really have a sunday reset like i didn't really deep deep clean my apartment on sunday i haven't been doing that in a while i know a lot of you guys have been missing my sunday reset videos and i just i usually hate filming those because i hate filming and, and and cleaning at the same time i kind of like just cleaning and not having to worry about filming i just i get into the zone when i clean like my headspace is way too focused when i'm cleaning the last thing i want to do is worry about if my camera angle is good one day we'll get back to our little Sunday routine for our oh that's my phone hello can you see me all right see you in a minute all right Nia is coming up even though it's just started off just a little bit late at least we are starting something Heading on an 
easy run and going to the gym for an upper body workout because since sunday i did my long run instead of saturday so sa sundays are usually for my like active recoveries where i like relax my body and just, just do some like stretching and all that but since i did my long run on sunday i didn't have enough time to like recover from that so that's why yesterday i just did like a really light leg workout and just did some handstands and fun things like i used to do before i went on this run i realized that my legs were cactuses and they had so much prickle on them so i just grabbed my little electric razor or um shaver this i got at the tiktok shop i saw it all over my timeline it's rechargeable you don't need batteries and this just is so convenient to when you have like a little bit of prickle and you just want to get it off before you like leave or maybe like you see some prickle and you forgot that you didn't shave shave in the car like it's so convenient it does not cut it's waterproof you can take it into the shower if you wanted to so but you get the gist of it if you look up electric razor on the tiktok shop this is probably the first thing that'll come up they probably have a bunch of different colors but it's gonna be a fun little active day today so let's get started let me stop procrastinating I just realized there's a cat behind me. I just sneezed like five times. I don't know how I'm gonna continue the rest of my day. My allergies are kicking. Hello guys, it is now the evening of today. I got a little work done. I have like five other things that I need to do. It's on my list, let's see. I did not edit today, which sucks. I did film my weekly vlog, my promo, and honestly, I did not do much work today and I'm a little disappointed in myself. I always have these moments where since I'm like my own boss and I'm like self-employed by myself and I work from home, I always feel so defeated when and I feel like I can be doing more. You know, your boss tells you come from this hour to this hour, you gotta do A, B, and C from these hours, and then once you're home, like they don't really care what you do. In the brain and mind of your own boss, the like boss part of your brain is like always telling yourself like you can be doing something, you could be working, you can be doing more right now. And it's just like such a defeating feeling because I really need to have my mindset on a certain hour when I should work, even though I kind of like to work more of like a 24 hour base so that I don't have an excuse on what's holding me back. But there are just some days where I really don't need to be doing as much and I have like a whole to-do list of work and it's not that much and I don't get it done I'm like what prevented you from doing that it is such easy work you can be doing something a lot harder when it comes to work and the boss inside my head is like you're taking advantage of this time to do nothing it's like such a it's a little unhealthy work mindset that I have to go through it could be a lot worse I need to stop being so hard on myself and like overworking myself I don't want to get burnt out there has been like way too many times where I have burnt myself out it's all about balance I got to balance it out. I gotta do a lot of work, but then I also have to listen to my body and listen to my mind and do it in the more proper organized way where I'm helping my boss mindset and I'm also helping my self-employee mindset, if that makes sense. I'm basically my own employee and I'm my own boss, but last thing I want to do is just get burnt out. So we're going to just try to prevent that while also getting a lot of work done and progressing in my work ethic. I'm looking outside right now. It is super, super stormy. And the other city that I'm looking at, from where my apartment's view, I could see like two different cities from like a long shot because I'm like super high in the building. So when it's like the 4th of July or like New Year's, I can usually see fireworks from like 
everywhere. So it was like a really great view. I loved it since the second I moved in and it's re it really sold it all. So I could see like, I could see like where the rain is. Like if it's not here, I could see that the rain like cloud is like right over there and you could specifically see the darkness of the rain and it's so cool. Now it's getting a little dark here. It's not sunny anymore. It's currently like seven anyway. It's like 7.50. 7.50. I have to start making dinner. It took me way too long to do this promo. Yeah, this, I just feel defeated today. I hate feeling this way. I wish I got up a lot earlier and that's also why I like getting up at like the early times like 4 or 5 6 a.m because I feel like if I get things done in the morning or if I can at least relax in the morning before I do any workout or work I feel like I have so many more hours throughout my day that if I do have a setback I still have more hours to finish it even if I had a setback I don't know y'all it could just be my allergies my allergies usually do make me feel 10 times more defeated because I just don't feel good even though this does make me feel mopey like it being gloomy and stormy and all that I do love a good stormy night thank god that this wasn't like all stormy and gray like during the day it was actually pretty sunny today now it's starting to get all gloomy and i am actually not mad about that the time that it is right now i do love a good dark stormy day and i always have my fingers crossed that like it's gonna be lightning and thunderstorm while i'm sleeping like hearing raindrops on your window and hearing like thunder and seeing like the lightning when you're laying in bed or like chilling on the couch at night is superior i don't like that during the day though today's tuesday right i accidentally said it was wednesday on live i still think i succeeded i did so freaking good at the gym and also i forgot to mention that for today's easy run in the video i don't know if you saw it in the video i that was not an easy run i think i did a small easy tempo running because i was running a little faster than i should be for an easy run i didn't even do the trying to hold a conversation while trying to run i stayed silent the whole time so i have no idea if i did the easy run correctly i still ran i wanted to run that fast it's okay then when i went to the gym and did my upper body day guys i only filmed like three or two of my workouts but i went ham for my arms i am now doing pull-ups without a support band one my endurance is 10 times more effective than it was like weeks ago like there's just so many days where i'm feeling so unconfident and weak on my workouts and then there's other days where i'm feeling super super strong and super confident i'm trying to keep it like that yeah that's how tuesday's going for me Me in one of their packages is a sparkling hot water, blood orange flavor, got zero calories, zero carbs, and zero sugar. We're gonna add this to our matcha. I have never been happier with having a matcha after a long morning. I woke up early today, but it took me forever to get out the door. For some reason, I have to do like 50 other tasks. The entire time that I was running and at the gym, I just was waiting for the moment that I could make my matcha because it's been so long. It was worth the wait. So how are you guys doing? I'm still procrastinating because my stomach has been grumbling since I started getting ready. Also, I want to show you guys the outfit for the day because I just got it in the mail yesterday. The day. Do we like it? It's a two-piece, obviously. It's navy blue shorts with this nice little 
pink top that is super, super fitting and it's so flattering on my body. I think I'm gonna buy them in all colors. I honestly think I might cave in and even get a pink one. I've been, okay, you guys know I absolutely hate the color pink. And I don't know why, I just ha had a hate for the color growing up. Ever since I've been having pink in my uh, wardrobe, everyone always gives me a compliment saying that pink really goes really good with my skin tone and I 100% agree. I like purple, I really, really love the color purple, but for some reason pink has been really looking really, really nice on me and it's making me feel confident. So I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I think I'm gonna start buying pink outfits now. So I wanna get a really light blue in this, a black in this, and a pink in this and I also want to get some airpod covers also in like a light pink because these are literally a lifesaver but I have some potatoes in the air fryer and eggs that I still have to cook because I'm procrastinating again to get food in my system even though I was starving this entire day and honestly I think I want to redo my lash clusters because lately in this entire video I've been seeing that one eye looks lazier than the other I promise I don't have what well, maybe I do kind of have a lazy eye but the way that I applied the lashes that's making one eye look Look different and I feel like it's because I put the 14s on. See, I really don't like how that looks. I look goofy looking. Got my egg cooking in here. I gotta be careful. But you hear any like popping that's the egg. Take off. You really give me a heart attack. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to talk here right next to you and be civil. She's done actually. When I'm doing something. just exploded on me. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you heard yourself. I was just making an egg. Anyways, after almost nearly dying. Cheers. These little pink ones or or these cute little pearl looking ones. I think I'm gonna choose later. I have to do my hair right now. Finally did my wash day. My lashes are off so I'm feeling a little extra fresh. I haven't washed my hair. Please don't be mad at me guys. Since I straightened it in my last video. Don't be mad. Oh my god that feels so good. I'm feeling like tempted a little bit. My front hairs are low-key so much you like cuter being short. I think I want more layers. The impulsiveness is hitting my soul right now. I think I might. I think I might. Oh my god. Miss Jessie's, please send me some more. Nice. Whew. That feels so good. That felt so good. That, that massage and like my hair feeling all wet and relaxed. Ah, oh, it feels so wild. It's giving when I was running through the Bronx. Oh my god, what if I- okay, no, I'm not gonna do it. 
But what if I did? But I'm not gonna do it. But what if I like decided to just, oh, I have all the control to do this right now. Hair goes back, I don't know. I think I'm gonna start off with layers. You guys might think I'm stupid for this, but I just think it's hair. If I don't like it, I'll always chop it off. That is an interesting cut. I don't know, I'm not mad about it. A lot of people are gonna be mad at me. Even if it's bad, I can always get a certain cut and it's always going to grow back. Okay, that's literally not bad. Content creating. Officially the third day in a row having tacos. It's actually really good. It fills me up for lunch. Oh my god, I just realized I had this on. look a mess right now but that's just because i've been sitting here for a while editing right after i got out of the gym i have been cleaning around a little bit but oh my camera's weird if you hear anything in the background it's just my dryer nia is over right now she's taking a shower in the guest bathroom and she decided to finally go to the beach today after forever me begging her to go with me she never wants to go to the beach but today she finally decided that we should go and take some cute pics while the sun is setting it's currently 609 <laughs> 69. It's 69 in the afternoon and sunset doesn't like start till I want to say 7 30 or 8 I don't know the weather has been so rainy lately, but today it's been clear skies There is a thunderstorm I see on my right other than that clear skies. Oh, I, I just saw lightning strike <laughs> Since we want to catch the sunset We're gonna leave soon to have a couple hours of chilling at the beach to take some cute pics So let's all go watch the sunset together Oh no! Grandma. I see what you're doing. Oh. We're going home. Nice. We're going to the house. Yeah, we're going home. We're not, we don't need no... 